Hey everyone, good morning. How are you? Hopefully you're doing well. I'm doing okay. I'm finally on the mend. I'm still a little bit sick. My one kidney on the right side is still hurting a bit, but other than that, I feel like I'm finally like returning to the world of the living, although I look a mess, but that's okay. One thing at a time, so I'm happy just to be feeling better. I'll be looking better soon, but you know, whatever. So anyway, what have you guys been up to? Catch me up. Have I missed anything exciting? Anything good going on in life? How are you? I have a friend who I am worried about, who I am watching lose their damn mind. And it's just a reminder to me that you really got to pay attention to who you allow in your life. And then how you choose to respond when people do you dirty. Because he got cheated on by his girlfriend that was living with him. They were together for three years. She cheated with several different men and brought him home an STD. And it was, I guess, really bad. Not I guess. I mean, I'm sure it was really bad. Um, I'm just not in their life, so I can't really say how they took it. But I can tell you how he is responding, which I think is ridiculous. He is on Facebook every day, posting 20 to 25 messages a day, saying her name and how much he hates her. And then the next minute he's saying how much he loves her. And then he's calling her out and showing her mail. And then he's saying he's going to use their only fans money to buy a billboard to say what a cheater she is. I'm like, wow, okay, this looks ridiculous. I mean, people, I understand we all have problems, but don't air all your dirty laundry out for the public to see. What good does that do you? It makes you look like a fucking lunatic. It doesn't help you to look better. It makes you look unhinged like you have no control over your own self so i'm not saying that i would probably handle being cheated on in the best way i once this is bad and i shouldn't share this but i'm going to when uh, i was married I once woke up at three in the morning. My husband was in the military. He was staying overnight saying he had duty. And I woke up and I said, this fucker's cheating on me. And I didn't have a car at the time. So I went to my neighbor and I was like, girl, something is wrong. I think my husband is cheating on me. Will you bring me down to the base? So I went down to the base and he wasn't working and they told me he was staying at the hotel on the base so i'm like all right so i go to the hotel and they give me his room key because i'm his wife i just showed my id said i'm his wife and i needed to get in my husband's room and he wasn't in there but what was in there were condoms his fuck rag and a messed up bed so i'm like this motherfucker so I locked the door, went, stayed in the room, and waited for him to come back. And when he did, <clears throat> I didn't handle it the best. I ended up picking him up, carrying him, and throwing him in a trash can. Yes, I did. I kid you not. One of them big ass dumpsters. I was fucking livid. I didn't want to hit him. I didn't want to scream and shout. I didn't want to do all that. But I've always been strong. <laughs> so I literally picked his ass up and chucked him in the fucking trash can. And then my friend who was with me, who drove me, my neighbor, she chased after the girl. But I wasn't worried about the girl because I figured the girl probably didn't have any idea about me. He, she, he probably met her in the club because that's where he was and he always was at the club. And she probably didn't have any idea of who I was. And so why would I fight with her when my argument was with my husband? Now, did I handle that in the best way? Probably not, but I did it. So I get it. We all get upset and we react a certain way, but it's really important to take care of your mental health. 
Bad things are going to happen. They always do. We always go through some type of struggle. But how you choose to react is your choice. And remember, that stays with you forever. Just like I will forever have the memory of throwing my husband and ex-husband now in a big ass dumpster. I ain't saying he didn't belong there. <laughs> but, you know, I probably could have handled that with a little more decorum. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess this video turned into a short story time about the time I threw my husband in the trash. Yeah, okay. All right, and there you have it. Take care of yourself, you guys. <laughs> Mental health is important. Love ya. <laughs> Bye.